Miles Williams has been a star on the Elon defense throughout his career for the Phoenix, but the starting safety is spending his fifth year at Elon not only playing football, but pursuing something much more important to him. This dream of his is to start a charter school. My sophomore year uh, in college, I was focusing on in a social policy and equality class. I'm a human, have my degree in human service studies, and we were really talking about inequality and, and education especially. And we saw some disparities in terms of black males in education. And one of the things that statistics that stuck out to me was that 59% of black males were graduating from high school compared to 80% of white males. And when thinking about equality, um, when you're not receiving an adequate education, it's really hard to not be in poverty, to avoid incarceration, to avoid homelessness um, and other systemic barriers. And so I felt that it was really imperative that I find a way to combat that issue. Of course, this is a long term goal, but being on campus for a fifth year has been instrumental in helping Williams take the necessary steps to follow his career plans in human services. Oh, well, I think a big part of it is um, using the time that I probably would be spending studying for other classes to put myself in a position to do things that would help me attain that goal. For example, one of the big things I'm doing currently is applying to graduate schools, um, finding the best public and educational policy programs in the country that I can apply to and be able to do certain things like that. Um, I'm currently applying for Fulbright uh, grants to do English, English teaching assistantship in South Africa. And I think that having experience there will also be huge. And then I've also secured a job in Chicago in the, well, in the winter, in January. So after the season's over with, hopefully after the national championship, I'll be able to, to go to Chicago and work in an inner city school and have some experience in that setting. And so that whenever I, I start my own school, I'll have some experience under my belt. One man can't do it alone though. The support he's gotten from friends, family, and coaches have helped Williams formulate this idea. The more and more I share that idea, the more that people buy into it and think it's a great idea. Uh, my peers have, have all thought that it was a good, a good idea. My, my advisors, my teachers, my professors, my family has really been a big support in terms of, of cultivating the idea and giving me ideas on what would work, what wouldn't work. And I think having that support and knowing that people are behind such an idea that that I came up with and something I'm passionate about has been really helpful for me. I think it takes a lot of courage, uh, first and foremost, to, you know, not only choose a career path that just helps so many people, but the sacrifices he's had to make, that he's had to make with his time, uh, the different commitments that he's had to take on in order to make that dream a reality. I really uh, respect him for that. Williams, who is also a team captain, has found Elon experiences off the field some of the most influential factors that have led to his interest in human services be able to be involved in football clinics or mentoring or tutoring different youth in the community uh, in high school uh, up to this point where I've had various experiences mentoring and tutoring kids in the, in the Elon community and even abroad when I was in Ghana to be able to have those experiences have all shaped and molded my, my idea to pursue this dream. When all is said and done, Williams just wants to help the person next to him the same way he does in football. Ultimately, my goal is to affect the most people possible in terms of education and giving everyone the most equitable and quality, high quality education.